Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. I was just on Facebook the other day. I'm like, you know those Facebook top fans? I think I'm like your top fanboy or something. I don't know. I don't know. what It doesn't say fanboy per se, <laughs> yeah. but it says fan on Facebook. <laughs> and so, um, but this is what I, I, I saw a recent post on Facebook. You wrote, Jesus' kingdom mission is not about developing church franchises, but making true disciples who mirror the mannerisms of Christ and do his miraculous works. Tell me about right. these mannerisms. What are these mannerisms of Christ that we need to mirror? Sure. Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, just alliterating a bit there. But the point um, I'm trying to make in that post is that my take, my understanding on the Great Commission is, as as it says in Matthew 28, and you know, to go make disciples. And make disciples is, is um, <clears throat> the actual imperative there. So the commandment is to make disciples. We do it by going, obviously, by baptizing and teaching them to obey. But what? Teaching them to observe everything Jesus commanded. So here, here's my my um, view, and I'm pretty pretty simple guy in terms of how I approach life in the scriptures. Um, I just think we're supposed to do what Jesus said. <laughs> and, <laughs> well, you're and, oversimplifying things. Come on, I need a little bit more evangel evangelical fluff. Right. Oh, I'm just being facetious. So, <laughs> so look, Jesus spent three and a half years with these guys, developing them, getting them ready, discipling them to send them out. And you know, one of the things that we read in the early church after um, Peter and John <clears throat> were threatened not to preach the gospel, is it says basically, even though they were, and I'm paraphrasing, uneducated, um, you know, it says they took notice of them that they had been with Jesus and their mm. boldness. Yeah. And, and so there was this sense in which they reflected or mirrored the quality in the person of Jesus. And like Paul said in Romans 8, 29, the reason why Romans 8, 28 is fulfilled in our lives, meaning that all things work together for good for those who love God, those are called according to his purpose. The fulfillment of that is the next verse. For those whom he foreknew, he predestined to be conformed to the likeness of the Son. So Everything we go through, when we submit ourselves to Christ, when we are teachable and in a good uh, New Testament term, meek, uh, receive with meekness that implanted word, then what happens is it actually works together for our good in that we become more and more like Jesus. Mm, wow. And a lot of people pray for money. They pray for open doors. They pray for um you know, just God to, to do different things in their lives, to connect them with right people, that type of thing. And um, what the Lord showed me in a time when I was praying and fasting was he said, I want you just to focus on really getting to know me. Mm -hmm. And as you do, he said, the grace that is on your life will be evident. You know, and we know Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor which is the word grace, with God and man. So he said, you just worry about increasing in favor with me. And as you do, he said, the gifts will emerge in your life. Oh. Um, the fact that that I'm with you, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Um, people could see that with G on Jesus, right? No one spoke like him. Look at the miracles he does. The, obviously God was with him. I love Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. Mm -hmm. He went around doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him, for God was with him. So the Lord spoke that to me and he said, if you will just allow me to conform you to the image and likeness of my son, he said, I'll do my own advertising. Mm -hmm. People will see, yeah. they'll sense the anointing on your life. They'll yeah. see the grace on you. There'll be a favor that will open doors for you. There'll be a favor in terms of people that recognize, you know, who you are and what you carry. So I believe that that's to be our focus is 
it's not the size of our gatherings. There's nothing wrong with having large gatherings, but what if those gatherings are not resulting in, in um, <clears throat> the depth of, of true New Testament discipleship? Then I think it's in vain. People, ultimately, those we are discipling, and the Great Commission is, is about discipling people to obey everything that Jesus taught, um, to and and so it's ultimately seeing them become conformed to the image and likeness of the Son, yeah. so that they live like Jesus did on the earth, which is amazing. Yeah. When First John two six says, "If anyone says he abides in Him, let him walk even as he himself walked," mm -hmm. and then John fourteen twelve, Jesus said, "The works that I do, because you know I'm going to my Father, you will do an even greater works." And He was talking about miracles there. Mm -hmm. So I really believe that our calling in life, first of all, is to be a disciple. And then secondly, we make disciples who become like Jesus. Mm. And think about that. If the world were to see um, Christians who love unconditionally the way Jesus does, who spoke the word uh, um, uncompromisingly the way Jesus did, but, you know, who who had compassion, but also um we're able to to just impact people's lives the way Jesus did when you read the Gospels, the miracles. Imagine if we stepped into that as the church, you know, yeah. en masse. I mean, we could, we could, we would see transformation, oh, absolutely. and and it wouldn't be our our the arguments and and you know what I believe, I believe in apologetics. Don't get me wrong, but um, apologists defend the word apostles demonstrate the word wow okay and and i believe there needs to be a demonstration of the gospel in power that's going to really change uh the nations and and the generation that we live in amen missions pulse know god's heart join his mission this podcast is powered by within reach global subscribe watch and listen on youtube today visit missionspulse.com